Hello and welcome to Script Tonight Reacts. I'm Script Tonight. Today we're going to be watching season three, episode six of The Expanse. And blow me down, this episode is called Immolation. <laughs> I've just come off episode five. I've literally just like exported a file and made a cup of coffee quickly. And I'm, I'm going straight into it. So I don't actually want to give myself too much time to think and be analytical about kind of what's going to happen in this episode. Because I just want it to hit me and it, have it happen. And obviously virtue of the fact that for me it's been about 10 minutes. <laughs> My position hasn't changed on the last episode. I'm just, I'm ready. I'm ready for the conflagration. We've got hybrids in pods flying through space. We've got mutinying earthers we've got the captain oh i'll tell you what i didn't say last time at the end i'd said it earlier in the episode but i didn't say it at the end was oh my god the captain of the hammurabi i, I don't know what her name is i'll look it up i'll put it down she deserves to be named oh my god what a cracking crap i could only hope to conduct myself with that level of bravery and integrity in any sphere of life. Just, she's gonna stick with me. I, I really was so impressed with that. Just super courageous. And bear in mind, she just lost her sister in this war. <sighs> wow. And at the other end of the moral spectrum, we've got Admiral Wynn. You won him. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna go off with him again. You know how I feel. I, I don't like him. I don't care what anyone tells me about his justifications. He lost it. He lost it. That was not a man being rational and considering his options and coming to a conclusion. That was a man losing it. And I don't care what anyone's politics is, you shouldn't be in a position where you're in charge of high payload weapons and a spaceship <sighs> if you can keep your cool under those sorts of circumstances it's not like it's easy to keep your head about you in that circ in those circumstances but that's why people in those positions have the pay and the respect that they do isn't it you can't cop out later and say well it's really tough of course it fucking is anyway right so without further ado, I want to get into this episode. Let's have at it. Okay, and I can't watch the title sequence because everyone has told me that awful things will happen. There will be spoilers. But I am going to have to sing along because it actually helps me time it. Ships destroyed some as well. Naomi, where are they headed? Their engines and transponders shut down as soon as they clear the gravity well. They're stealth tech. The Rosie can't track them. 
Mars. They're going to Mars. How the hell are you so sure about that? Seeing those things get down to the cities, they're going to be nearly impossible to stop. They'll kill thousands. And contaminate everything with proto-molecule. Mars could become another Eros. Oh, God. The assault team is on the far side of the station. Most of the systems are powered down. It's going to take time for them to reach us. Time to do what? To get to our ships and launch. Why wouldn't they just shoot us down? We'll tell them we have children on board. We can do oh. this, but we have to go now. Oh, no. All right. Oh, no. Get on the radio. Gather up the children and meet us at the shuttle bay. Right away, Dr. Strickland. The work is nearly finished. What the fuck? Such a waste. But this is what you were made to do. You ever get cramped in that thing? You kind of grow into it. Like a plant. Grew a watermelon in a box once for a science project. Came out square. About this wide, this high. Are they hypoxic? Guess it was They're whistling, whistling in the dark. <laughs> Still tasted the same. You and me both. Fuck. Make this thing show me what's happening in orbit. Please? The Eka's the king. It's south of the ship. Not anymore. I can put a scope on that. Hold on. What? That ship was hit with a hybrid pod. You don't want to be on it. The proto-molecule is spreading incredibly fast. Oh, my God. Oh, she's the end of the king! Oh, fuck, no! No! Culture, no! Oh, no. Oh, shit. What's your name? Larson. Okay, Larson. Hey, how come they got you in a restraint? <laughs> what? What? Oh, God damn it, I got some of it on No, me. don't touch it! Oh, no. Well, what is this shit? We're gonna go crazy. It's called protomolecule. It's bad. Just tell me. Remember, Eros, this is that shit. It kills everything it touches, and it cannot be stopped. Shoot yourself. Oh, whoa. Wait. <sighs> but you're not dead yet, and I need your help. We have to try to stop the infection on this ship from spreading. I don't even know what we're fighting for. God. That's the worst. Oh, 
Oh god, it's everywhere. something else. Uh, it's Katoa. It's a hybrid. Fall back to the rocks. No, the kids are down that way. Go get them. You can't. I'll lead it away. I don't like Go. it. I don't like it, Bobby. Bobby, don't be an idiot. This won't bring back your dead Marines. Man, for the first time in your life, please just shut the fuck up. <laughs> Oh, we can't confirm the ship is still in orbit around Io. Pause. I just, I need a second. I was like, all ready for Bobby to go in and do that then. But then you think, that's just Katoa? And you know that he's weakened and he's dying and he's in an enormous amount of pain. And he didn't ask to become this. I'm not saying that she shouldn't kill him. I think at this point we just got to nuke the whole proto molecule and, and everything, you know, but it's just, it is fucking sad. It really is. Clay. Shortly after the Jimenez was destroyed, there was a mass missile launch from the surface of Io. Yeah. We lost track of the missiles as they left Io. I think they may have some kind of stealth tech. Hey, you're fucking proud of yourself, you stupid man. Mm -hmm. I didn't expect to see Anna this episode. You know, if you're here to apologize, I honestly don't give a shit anymore. I am not. I want to refresh your memory, the words you said all those years ago. Just another protest, you said. No greater symbol for our cause than walking into a military base, arm in arm. It's no big deal. But you knew they had orders to fire on the crowd. You think I didn't want to warn everyone? You know why I didn't? It takes a few martyrs to really solidify wow. movement, doesn't it? Your words. That's my shame. But all those people who died for what we believed, I never imagined they would only be the first in a long line for you. No. I'm not walking away. This time, you're going to do the right thing. I forgot! Oh my god, Anna! Oh my god! She's the absolute A1 best. Rex. She was right here. She can't be far. Oh shit. Wow. Why do you like it? He, he looks like a curious child to me. I can't bear it. to the Ag of the King. There's no way to stop them from here. I'm sorry. Jesus Christ. Are you sure those things are heading to Mars? I'm sure. Hold it. There's someone here who should know. Let me go ask. I'm gonna fly it up to the Ag of the King. I'm gonna find a way to stop those pods. You can't do it alone. Keep an eye on our people. I will. I'm starting to fully shit myself now. Whoa! OK. 
Okay. Oh shit. You're not even going to deny it? I meant every word I said. You just admitted to treason. Was he always like that? Like what? Spineless, weak, dignified face with nothing behind it. You're finished. Wow. That's just him parroting you because you talked to him last. If he spoke to a janitor, he'd be passionately declaiming about a fucking mop. It's agonizing. True. I've lost count of how many times I stopped him from blundering into political suicide. And now we have a chance to assure the future of the Earth. And he's shitting himself because he's afraid the history books won't be flattering enough. He's changing for the better. I fought to save Earth. And you fought to save yourself. The planet deserves better than you. Secretary Ehrenreich is under arrest for treason. Get him out of my sight. <sighs> my legacy was going to be a catastrophic war. With me instead. That's all on Aaron right now. Thank you. Fucking bobblehead. Holes. Oh, you know the annoying thing about that is that everything Aaron Wright said was true. He's still a bastard. Like, he's still wrong. And he's still a bastard. And he's still responsible for everything that he's responsible for. But. Earth does deserve a hell of a lot better than Esteban. Metapools. So this is me doing my editing, re-watching this bit, and I just realised I really wanted to say at this point that this scene in particular is one of the reasons why The Expanse is becoming my favourite TV show and why it's taken over from Game of Thrones. Because the only other show I've known do this to me reliably is Game of Thrones, where it takes something that I really want to see but then sets it in a context which creates a real moral ambiguity for me. It did that with, in this episode twice, it did it with the fight between Bobby and Katoa as the proto molecule. I was really, really conflicted all the way through that fight. You can see I'm literally holding back tears. I find it excruciatingly painful to actually watch Katoa as the proto molecule being attacked because I could see the sentience I could see the I've seen the history and that made me really upset and then with this scene with Erin Wright and Esteban where I have been waiting since season one I think yeah we found out in season one that Erin Wright was fucking about so I've been waiting all this time for Erin Wright to get his comeuppance and I had this like little flicker moment of glory there where I was like yeah go down you bastard and then you see that it's probably unlikely to help things very much at all because Esteban is actually the real issue here. And there could be another Aaron Wright in five minutes because Esteban is the guy who's going to listen to Aaron Wright. And just, oh, it got me. So I'm going to hand you back to reactor carry on now. Editor carry on is done, but I just wanted to make that point and leave it with you here. Oh, play. And Anna, I think, needs to realise that he is not going to change. This guy, I don't think it's like... I don't think Esteban's ever been anything other than he is now. You know, how long ago was was the this protest where he's clearly led people in, believing that they were just going on a protest, but he knew that the military were going to 
shoot at people, he did it anyway because he knew that by having the Mars, their calls would get cemented. And this, you know, this is a long time ago. I'm assuming it's at least 20 plus years. And he's not going to change. I don't think he's going to change. Because everyone in this show has seen something, had something happen to them, and it's changed them. So far. Everybody. We see people that are only in one episode get character development where they shift. Esteban has had a lot happen to him and it is not changing his behaviour, which suggests to me that behaviour is not about circumstances, it's about the sort of prick that he is in the world. And he seems very resistant to changing that, which is why he's my least favourite character in this entire show. I don't know what Anna can do at this point. And I'm really struggling with the Bobby Katoa scenes. Because having seen Katoa's journey, it, it changes my view. If it comes down to it, I'll choose Bobby. But it's not it's not an easy watch for me actually that I'm finding it genuinely but I'm on the verge of tears throughout because I'm just like you know, this has been done to him. And I also think I just generally, unless something is demonstrably willing, like demonstrably evil, I have trouble cheering for its demise. I think that's the problem that I'm having with Katoa, who is still Katoa to me, even though he's been occupied by the protein molecule. I'm also really worried about Kochar. He's on the Agatha the King. I can't think if there's anyone else on the Agatha King at the moment that I'm worrying about. I do want to see Admiral Wynn fucking obliterated by Proto Molecule. That guy, I, I'm not going to have any moral quandary watching that guy taken apart. I do want Kochar to make it, but I'm not holding my breath. And I have a funny feeling by the end of this episode, we are going to see what the fuck is going on on Venus. And I think that's going to be bloody amazing. So here we go. Play. Someone's locked us out of the controls. <gasps> Hold hands. Leave the children. What? You'll be safe.